I stand before the Senate with a different view on this bill. It's nothing more than a commerce busting bill. Uh, they can come up with all kinds of arguments why uh, we should get off uh, daylight savings time, but the fundamental reason comes down to commerce. And here in Southeast, where I represent, we've been struggling in our commerce areas area for two decades. This is just another nail. In fact, it's probably a stainless steel wood screw in our economic coffin. When we look at our fishing industry that does a lot of their business out of Seattle, puts them an hour off, further hour off, six months a year. And it just gets worse. We can look at our, our um, tourism industry. You can go into the flight service areas. You can just take pretty much right down the economic ladder. It also, Mr. President, pits uh, one section of the state against another section of the state. We just happen to be roughly 10% of the population uh, in Southeast. Clearly, we're a full time zone off of uh, the, mo the metropolitan area uh, to uh, get closer to uh, sun time. So we are being further disprivileged six months a year. And I don't feel that we should, in this current environment, dealing with our budgetary constraints, um, which is going to be pushing this, the state in the direction of economic slowdown, further throw this burden on Southeast Alaska on top of that. I don't want to see Southeast Alaska disprivileged <laughs> economically against its competitors, if it's in the fishing industry, if it's in the tourism industry, or what have you. I don't think it's good for business. I don't uh, personally believe in the social economic arguments dealing with uh, heart attacks. Uh, I looked at the, or in other um, problems that may, I might get a heart attack here, you know, debating this issue, but not, to, not from changing the time zone. Uh, and I haven't noticed in my readings twice a year when we change the time zones that we have people, you know, taking long walks off short docks. It's a commerce discussion. It's a commerce issue controlled at the federal level. And I recognize there's language in this bill that requests a review of our time zone. And, you know, we've stood in this chamber and requested opening of the 1002 area for oil for years. We could be in years of request to deal with this time zone all the time, just privileging weaker areas of the state, weaker in population count, weaker in economic activity. So Mr. Chairman, there's, or Mr. President, there's good reason this proposal hasn't seen the, the light of the final day over the last, I don't know how many, how many years the uh, previous speaker had, had uh, mentioned several times the subject has been up and has never been uh, drug across the finish line. There's good commerce reason why it hasn't. So, uh, Mr. President, I proudly stand here today with my heart still pumping after I changed the time zone and ask for uh, some consideration on the commerce effect of what we're doing. We shouldn't be putting forth commerce-busting bills in this day and age. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Stemmen.